how to send automated emails on wix.com hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial today i'm going to show you how you can set up the automation for the email sending to your customers this is very simple and easy to do all you have to do is to watch this tutorial from the beginning to the end and you will see that how easy it is to put up the uh, steps together and uh, get whatever you need on the automation of the emails now we are on wix.com all you have to do is to connect your wix.com account and you have to sign in of course here you have to choose one of the the website that you have created of course you have to select the website that you have published and you want to work with it for example i will go with this a little disclaimer guys everything created in this video such as email addresses phone numbers and addresses are created for the sake of the video they are not used for any personal uses so you have to go ahead and put your own email address and you will be good to go right here we have on the Wix dashboard or the website that we have for example all you have to do is to go to this sidebar menu and click on this part which is automation uh, when when you click on this part you will be guided to this one here to in order to create your automation all you have to do is you click on this plus button new automation and you will be setting up the automation now we have some templates that you can rely on and uh, simplify the work from well, as you can see here we can uh, go with the popular ones we have sent instruction before a session thank you thanks visitors for submitting a form this is a sending email this is a good one for for example automating uh, of the email and here we have greet new visitors for with a chat message for example you want to uh, send some promo codes to your uh, new visitors it is up to you here we have the engage with clients these are some ready templates you can see re retain customers get paid on time manage business it is up to you to use one of these templates but in my case i will go ahead and click uh, this plus button which is start from scratch and i will be creating a automation from scratch we have here the trigger shoes an app and trigger now we have a lot of options to set as a trigger for example i am going to the tasks here we can set the task to get the email messaging or the email sent to your customer now we have the select a trigger which is automatically set as a task overdue now we have the limit frequency to you can you can uh, set it as do not limit for example or once per contact here it is up to you to use but i highly recommend you to not spam every trigger to the clients all you have to do is to click once per contact you can put a delay for example you can put for minutes let's say that i am going to put a, a delay for five minutes after the trigger is on you can add a condition for example if here if for example select an automation if uh, the task updated date here we have the contact id task id contact last name first name contact email here we are going to for example put a contact uh, email or let's go with the contact email since we are going to sell something the checkout will have the contact email now i will go ahead to put a text for example a contain you can put for example contain i will put like this and put the trigger at the at right here now you can add another criteria it is up to you for example or you can delete this you can also remove the condition if you don't want it and the action to choose right here i am going to click an email you can put a send a chat message create a task move a workflow card send via webhook it is up to you to choose one of these uh, actions to do but in our case we are going to send a simple email i will click on send an email right here we have the sender details you can see the sender name you can put right here the name and the re re replay or reply to email i will edit this for example 
The sender name we have here, the Jack Smith FBADS. I will go ahead and put only Jack Smith. The reply to email, it is uh, up to you to put uh, the repletion or uh, the uh, response email right here. I will click on save. You can uh, go ahead and confirm your uh, email address uh, by putting the code that will, they will send you or you can edit the details later. Now we have create an email. Thanks for getting in touch. This is the uh, email template that they will be sending to the clients or the customers. You can edit the template right here. You can add some details uh, from the sender. You can also switch the template or get more some more action. You can pre preview and test it right here. I am going to preview the emails. Right now we have this email. This is the thank you email. You can add a button right here. We have here the social media and this is the website. Uh, thank you for getting in touch here. Your message goes here. This is the message that you are going to put for the customers. I will go back to the setup right here and we will uh, send, uh, for example, a email or later. Right here we have the, uh, we can set the email type. We can put it as a promotional email. You can uh, email notification topics, for example, abandoned cart, uh, alert by Wix, uh, by Wix is triggered, announcement, for example, contacts is assigned to you. It is, uh, for example, a new member request, new member sign up, it is up to you. Let's put it as a new, member sign up. You can choose also to put uh, the business transactional, it is up to you, or you can put the business criteria critical right here. And also you have to put then set the recipient right here. You can include the trigger contact or include the additional recipient. For example, I can uh, put the collaborator role uh, right here. We can put the owner, the admin and the website manager and it is up to you. You can uh, send the emails to these four that you have added and all you have to do is to click activate. And this is uh, the clear name you have. Recognize it. Test for example, test email like this and you are going to click on save. This is very simple. We will wait for it to be activated. Your automation is now active. As you can see here, the status of the automation is active. You can view the summary, edit it, duplicate it, rename it, or see the email statistics that you have set. Overall, that was everything that you need to create your automation. As you can see here, when you click on view summary, this is the actions that you can do. Also from this part, you can send an email. For example, this is the action. This is the trigger and this is the action. I can edit the action. Also, you can put another action right here. You can add an action. If you want to put another delay or another condition, you can create a task, for example, or get an email. It is up to you. So the email will be back to you that uh, the, um, the email was sent and it will be notified. And this is the action. And also you can click on save right here. We will put the message, the message title and custom you can put the custom email or send email to your uh, owner uh, membership or your owner um, email address it is up to you that was all for today's video i hope you guys that you have enjoyed the content and so it's useful for you and i hope to see you on the next video